How to create a safe account. First things first, we need a crypto wallet. We're gonna use the MetaMask browser extension. We're gonna add that to our browser, add to extension. And next we need a password. Make sure you save this somewhere you can so you can retrieve it later. Don't say I didn't warn you. Copy that to clipboard, create a wallet and enter that in. Accept the terms of use. Does anyone ever read these things? Anyway, continue. Save that secret recovery phrase to your clipboard because you will need that later. So save that. See, told you you're gonna need it later to confirm. So go ahead and do that. And now we've created our wallet. We've created our wallet. Now we're going to make sure we can see the test networks. We're going to go to the settings and turn on show test networks. Boom. Once that's done, we're going to go ahead and start creating some accounts now. So we're going to create a new account. Account two, the name is fine. Let's create that. Create another account, account three. Name is good. Let's create that. Now let's switch back to our main account, account one, and let's switch from the Ethereum mainnet to the Gorley test network. It's time to get some money. Show me the money. We're going to use the Alchemy faucet because it's one of the most reliable faucets out there. It's going to ask you for your credit card, but you can skip that. Let's build. All right, now we're logged into Alchemy. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and pin our MetaMask browser extension so it's easily retrievable and always available. Then we're going to copy the clipboard, the address of account one, paste that in and click send me some ETH. Once we do that, we'll see some digital confetti come down. So exciting. And then we can see the confirmation that the ETH has been sent. Beautiful ether scan, so underrated. There's a 0.2 ETH. Now let's go create our safe. We're gonna to switch to the Gorley test now. Click on create new safe, connect that, click on MetaMask because that's what we created. You already know this. Select all three accounts. You don't have to do this, but I just like to do that to keep my life easier. And then click on connect. All right, let's get it going. So let's give our safe a name. Let's just go with Gorley safe. Boring, but whatever, who cares? So we call it Gorley safe, we click on next. Now we'll see that it's already been pre-populated with account one. So we're going to go ahead and add account two and account three as a warning. Do not use the same MetaMask wallet for all your safe owners with real money. The following example is for demo purposes only. New owners. So we're going to go to MetaMask. See, this is why we pin it because we can get it really easily. Switch from account one to account two. Copy that clipboard, paste it in there. Click on an add a new owner for account three. And already, you already know, same thing as before. Switch to account three, copy the clipboard and paste it in there. Now we're gonna switch back to account one because that has the ETH that we need to pay for the network fee. Switch to a two or three multi-sig. Everything looks good. Let's click on next. You know what I like to say, better safe than sorry. Confirm everything looks good. Let's click on next. And then you'll see a pop-up come up for MetaMask asking us to confirm the transaction. Everything looks good. We're gonna click and confirm. And we'll wait for that transaction to get executed on the blockchain. And everything looks good. Let's click on start using safe. And there you have it. We have created our very first safe.